All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, I figured we'd do a video today on my Dualtron Ultra 2. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of this Dualtron Ultra 2. I think it's one of the best uh, scooters that Mini Motors has ever made. It's rock solid. I mean, it rides great. It's really fast. It's got 6,640 watts of peak power with two 1,500 watt motors and a 35 amp hour battery. So it gets great range. It's super fast. It does a top speed about 62 miles an hour. So yeah, it's very, very fast. But I want to do a video today and give you guys a few reasons why you should buy the Dualtron Ultra 2. First of all, it's not five, six thousand dollars like some scooters. It comes in at about four grand. Now I paid a little bit more because I had to put the uh, PMT tires on and um, the steering damper and the double clamps for the folding mechanism. So I had to spend a few more dollars. It came out to like forty, three hundred or something like that. But um, love the scooter. It's an amazing scooter. Haven't had one problem. Had it for a year and a half. Um, I caught one flat tire with it, and that was about it. Now, this scooter is very light. It comes in at 88 pounds. Now, that's pretty light for an 11-inch scooter. Most 11-inch scooters are like 95 pounds or more. Like the Dualtron Thunder, the regular Dualtron Thunder, I think that weighs about 95, 96 pounds. This only weighs 88. The Dualtron Storm, the regular Dualtron Storm, is about 102 pounds. The Cabo Wolf Warrior is 101 pounds. So this is pretty light for a uh, high-performance 11-inch scooter, and that makes it even faster. Then it doesn't have too much RGB. It has the perfect amount of RGB. It's got nice lighting on the stem. It's got nice light lighting on the side right here. And it's got the headlights in the front. It's got six lights in the front. It's the most lights uh, on any Dualtron besides the Dualtron X. It's got three lights on each side, and it looks badass when it's coming at you. And um, I love the blinkers. The blinkers on the back when you hit the, um, the brakes. Let me show you guys. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with the lights. See, you got the lights there, and then when you hit the brakes, the lights blink. And then on the front, check the, check the lights out on the front. I mean, it looks really, really good from the front. Really, really good from the front with the lights on. I noticed that when I have the lights on, people in cars look at the scooter more. They pay attention to the scooter more when the lights are on, especially when the stem lights are on. I tell you, Mini Motors has the best lighting out of any scooter company. I mean, other scooters try to copy what Dualtron does with the lighting, but I think Dualtron has the best lighting. But like the Storm, the Thunder 2, they have a little too much RGB. They have RGB in the swing arms. Mine doesn't. Um, so those are hollow swing arms. Mine aren't hollow swing arms. The neck... The neck also lights up. Mine doesn't. Look at how solid this is compared to the uh, other Dualtrons that light up here. They're hollow and hollow here. So it's got the right perfect amount of RGB. Uh, I'm not too big big of a fan of, uh, you know, a lot of lighting, but it's the perfect amount of lighting. And at night, it looks really, really, really good. And then it's got the hazard lights as well. It doesn't have the blinkers. It doesn't have a horn, but it could have came with blinkers. It's got enough lights on the back, like the Storm, to come with blinkers. And it should have came with a horn, but it didn't. For $4,000, $4,200, it should have came with that. But it didn't, but I digress. Now, guys, it's very fast, like I said. It might not accelerate as fast as the NAMI or the Bronco 11 Extreme from like 0 to 50, but it tops out better than the uh, NAMI or the Thunder 2 or the Bronco. This thing, I got this thing up to 64 miles an hour because I weigh 140 pounds and that's GPS, okay? The other scooters like the Thunder 2 and the Storm, mm, they do about 58, 60 depending on your weight. So in my opinion, 
This might not pick up as fast, but top end, it is a fucking beast. It's a monster at the top end. Then the suspension, the suspension is perfect. The suspension, it's the hardest suspension cartridges you can get that come on the scooter. But as you ride the scooter for a few hundred miles, the suspension breaks in to your weight. I'm 140 pounds and it broke in nicely for me. It handles my weight perfectly. It dampers nicely. It rides better than the Kabu. And I just got new cartridges for the Kabu because they put hundreds. The infill was uh, 100, I think. And that's for somebody who's 240 pounds or more. So the Kabu, I just got new cartridges for somebody who's 150 pounds or more. So it should ride smoother. But this definitely rides uh, smoother than the uh, Kabu Wolf Warrior does because of that C-type suspension. And... Um, I mean, it's just a complete package, this thing. I love the way they put the controller on the back because that sheds a lot of heat. Um, this really never even gets hot. I mean, I beat the shit out of this thing, and this thing really never even gets that hot. So I love the controller on the back, and I like the aerodynamic look of the controller. Some people, they don't like it, but I do. Some people like it, some people don't. And as you guys can see, I put the toe handle on because, you know, it's hard to um, carry it without it. And I uh, end up putting my foot right here and I dig the back of my foot into the toe handle. So it's kind of like a kick plate in a way. So that's awesome. It's got the nut brakes with 160 millimeter rotors. All you got to do, guys, when you get the scooter is put... The double clamps for the folding mechanism, a steering damper, because that is a friggin' must. The steering damper is a must, and PMT tires, and you'll be good. And, um, I mean, I just, I can't complain about this scooter. I really can. It's got everything that I, that I love, um, it rides great, and it's just an amazing piece of machinery. And if you guys want, you can pick it up at Mini Motors New York City. They got a bunch of them in stock. I mean, there are a few things that I don't like about this scooter. Like, for instance, I hate this mud guard in the front. I think it looks really ugly. I don't really like the mud guard too much. Um, like I said, I don't like the fact that it came with a single uh, clamp for the folding mechanism. Not really too big of a fan of that. Uh, what else can I say about this scooter? Yeah, the lights, they look really, really good coming at you, but they don't illuminate the road whatsoever. So you got to get uh, additional lighting. I got two 900 lumen headlights. So I got about 1800 lumens and that's pretty sufficient for me. So Guys, like I said, if you're in the market for a Dualtron, seriously check out the Ultra too. I mean, definitely, definitely get PMT tires because those off-road tires are ugly. But what Mini Motors did was they gave me the off-road tires for free because I ended up buying these. So they just gave me the off-road tires. But when I sold my Alibaba 60-volt um, scooter that I had, I gave the kid the off-road tires with the scooter. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the Dualtron Ultra 2. And would you buy this scooter? Because take it from me, it's a fantastic scooter. I mean, I can't even ride this thing in turbo mode unless the battery's down to like 25, 30%. Because it's just too much. It's way too much. Eco mode is, is perfect. I even put the battery settings down for the battery saver sometimes. And the other day, I did 46 miles and still had 40% of the battery left. The range on this thing is great with the 35 amp hour battery. It's got the LG battery in it. And the one thing that I hate is the kickstand. That's another thing. Look at this pencil looking kickstand. I know I got it on this because... On the rug, when you put the kickstand down, the scooter leans too much and it looks retarded. So I put that uh, rubber sweat uh, rubber that sweatshirt there, so it makes the scooter stand up better. Now somebody told me I can get a kickstand. I don't know how because this is like I don't know. This is like connected to this, so I might have to get a whole new piece. But somebody was telling me I could get a kickstand, and I don't know why it didn't come with the kickstand like the Dualtron Storm. That square-looking kickstand, I will never know. But I digress. 
So guys, like I said, if you're in the market, check out Mini Motors New York City. Shout out to Yuri and Javier. You guys are the best. Um, and I just actually got the brakes done on this too. Uh, I went 1,400 miles without having to put brakes on it. So I just put brakes on this baby and it's all ready to go for next year because it's getting too cold here in New York City and getting a little too cold to ride. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I could shed some light on your next scooter purchase. And um, like I said, it might not have all the RGB that the Storm or the Thunder 2 has, but it's got enough and it looks awesome, especially at night. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Mikey from the Electric Scooter Guy. Peace out.